Hi, this is Dominic from Paphos Life, and in part two of our Around Paphos series, we'll be exploring Cato Paphos and then coming up through Old Town, finishing at Papantonio Supermarket. So, first of all, we'll have a map. We'll start off with a map of the lower part of Paphos, and uh, first of all, I'll overlay the route that we did in the first film so you know where you are with relation to that. And we're starting at uh, Kings Avenue Mall and we're going to go down to the harbour. And from there we're going to drive through Cato Paphos, down Bar Street and then come back on ourselves towards the seafront. And from there we'll go up through Cato Paphos again to the uh, big central church where the traffic lights will keep us red for a while, no doubt. And from there we'll go up what's called Russian Road into Old Town and we'll end at Papantonia Supermarket. Uh, while I'm here, if you like our films and find them useful, please do subscribe to our channel and share the film far and wide because the subscriptions really do help with uh, how YouTube promotes our channel. So please do subscribe if you like us. And if you want to help us out, go to our coffee page on pathoslife.com forward slash coffee and either buy us a coffee or just use one of our affiliate links and help us out that way. Okay, thanks and let's get on with it. So we're just going under the uh, new walkway that they started building in 2017. And on our left, there were some uh, interesting catacombs that lead up to Fabrica Hill, which you mentioned in the first film. And there are some catacombs on the right too, but I believe they're locked off at the moment. Also on the left here is the Aya Solomony catacomb, excuse any pronunciations. Uh, people tie lots of votive offerings to the tree there, like mainly ribbons and stuff, or COVID masks. Well, that was the thing a few years ago anyway. Uh, and we're heading past that, though, to the seafront and harbour area. Now, on the left here, uh, you'll get to St Paul's Pillar and the other ruins that lie beyond uh, Fabrica Hill but we're concentrating on getting to the harbour area. There's a handy little car park on the left there. Because often, uh, especially in summertime, the main one will be full. Right, we will be uh, later on in the film turning left at this roundabout, but because you all like the seafront, we're driving uh, uh, along there first. Well, along a little bit of it. We can only uh, turn right at the top here. Oh, let this man go across. I want... That was an interesting one because he was going to cross the zebra crossing, but it already started avoiding me because he hadn't anticipated me stopping. But I stopped, so he just sort of waved at me. Uh, but do try and stop at zebra crossings, but don't assume that people will automatically stop for you if you're standing by a zebra crossing. Make it look abundantly clear that you want to cross. That's the harbour up there. And there's the uh, archaeological park. And we're going to do a loop and come back on ourselves. This is the main car park at the harbour. It's free as well which is probably why it fills up quite quickly. You can also carry on down the road I just went on and go behind the restaurants and park there, but don't do that because that's where I normally park. And uh, there's the main seafront, pedestrianised. And the flowers are beginning to bloom as you'd expect in springtime. And I believe that car park on the left there, which has just been built, is uh, a pay in the spray one, or you pay on your mobile app anyway. And we're turning right and going into Cato Paphos. Now, the next bit, depending on when you are watching this, will have changed because they're still doing work on the roads here. This one's pretty much finished. 
I think they've got one more layer of tarmac to go, but further up around Pinguinos is the main focus at the moment. This is supposed to be one way, but that guy insisted on going the wrong way. And you can see why they have bollards when you see uh, how that van's parked. But just take it nice and slowly. And you'll make it through without an issue. So you can't turn right here at the moment, though when it's all finished you should be able to again. I believe. And if you go left up here, you'll come to uh, St. Paul's Pillar from the other side. And the road to the right is pretty much finished now. That was where they found uh, some new archaeological remains which delayed the renovation work briefly. And now we're going to go up uh, Bar Street just to show you how to get around. And so let me turn around here. We will be here again later in the film, but we'll go that way. The first go up Bar Street from the start, which is here. And as I said before, Bar Street's got a bad rap, but from this point, which is the uh, Baywatch Beach Bar, up to just the, the roundabout past flares, it's all open and it's all as you'd expect. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going down here briefly because I just want to show you a little bit more. That's where you used to be able to come up from, but you can't because they're working on the bit by Pinguinos. So we have to, you have to ignore the uh, one-way sign and turn right here and that will put us back at uh, Baywatch where we were so I'll carry on from there yep the bit from here up to the roundabout past flares is all open for business and nice basically it's only the bits at either end that are in need still of renovation work that's a nice little chapel on the left there there's Flair's Bar. Right, we're going to go right here. Now, I'm not going to try and sell you this area here, because it is just a rundown dump in, in the main. There is a couple of kiosks there, but they put uh, the hoardings up now, so hopefully some work will be done on the area. Much needed, it has to be said. And now we're coming up to the end of Bar Street and on the right you can see where they've been doing some landscaping, which is how that's going to run all the way down Poseidonus Avenue, which is what this road is, from here to the seafront when it's finished. That's the Almira Hotel, very nice in there. Food's good as well. Now we got held up by a digger here, but I've edited that out because you don't need to see me in a queue. But you can see how the road is going to be narrower than it was. And there's a lot of a big pedestrianised area on the right. Which should look really nice. I mean, if the artist's impressions are anything to go by, it will be really nice when it's finished. And there's the Hotel Alabelle. work on the paving uh, pavements at the moment putting, laying down tiles it looks like as I said we used to turn right here at Pinguinos but you can't do that because that's all been dug up now and now we come down to the seafront itself which was all done last year and that's lovely now but we're going this way Soon we'll be back where we were before. 
observing the fact that it's a one-way system. Unlike that chap. And we're going to go double back on ourselves for a little bit. And then we're going to start heading off up into uh, towards old Paphos. And I'm going to take us that way for a different road than I did in the last film. People still ask why there's so many bollards about, and you'll see why in a minute. Because there's a van up here, it just parked at the junction. And, uh, if there weren't any, if they weren't the bollards, they'd be parked all over all, over all of the pavements as well. So that's why they put them there. What they do need is, uh, firstly, some decent amount of traffic wardens, and secondly, a court system to deal with all the fines. But I'm straying into territories that I don't want to cover, really. So we'll head on down this way. I couldn't turn left at those uh, like crossways where the van was because it's a one-way street. And there are a number of one-way streets in uh, Katopathos. So you can't go there either. But if you follow the road round, it eventually brings you out to where we want to be. You've got to go left here. There's another big car park in there. It's worth knowing about. It's a little bit of a walk to the seafront, but you probably have to fight this for a space. Now we're going to come out onto the road that, uh, if you remember when we came out of Bar Street and turned right, if you had turned left, this would be that road here. And so we're going to be following that road now. And we're going to go back round. Uh, if you remember in the first film in this series, right at the start, there is that big church where you always had to stop at traffic lights. We're going to end up coming at that, but from a 90 degree angle to how we crossed it in the first film. If instead we carry on down here, we'll eventually get to the other side of Fabrica Hill and you can then turn right and join the uh, dual carriageway, which is what I normally do if I want to get to uh, the western side of Paphos because it means that I don't have to get stuck at these traffic lights up here, which I always get stuck at. Right. After the traffic lights, we're going to go straight on. And when we arrived in Cyprus, this road used to, uh, was called Russian Road. And I believe it was called that because there are quite a number of Russian shops on it. And when I drove up here this time, I think I could only count two. So whether it's still called that or not, I don't know. But if you hear someone talking about Russian Road, they probably mean this one. It... Uh, brings us to the main road that we are on in the first film, just past the Green Air building. And we will be doubling back on that route for a little bit before heading into Old Town. On our right is Universal, and that really is a maze of twisty little passages. If you are Go take one of the roads there. It's nice driving around there, but it's very easy to get lost.
Now you'll probably have to wait at these traffic lights ahead as well if you come up this road. Interesting today, I don't think this one's been renovated yet. It hasn't had the treatment that the others have and there's no, none of the, all the bollards that you see everywhere else. Right, so now we're going to come up, we'll see that new petrol station on the left. And there's the green air building on the right. For your solar needs. And above that uh, is the Muse restaurant. But we're not going there, we're going to be turning left here now into Old Town. This road's recently been uh, finished, being renovated. I believe they're still doing work on the interior of Old Town, if you like, on the, to the uh, right. I haven't been up there for a while though. On the left up here somewhere is there's Marks and Spencer. That's an outlet store. So if you're missing Percy Pig, that's where you go. And then we got uh, Cafe Nero and uh, the girl without the sparrows, which is a nice statue that had some of the sparrows nicked off it. But that's a nice viewpoint. And opposite Cafe Nero, there's an artisan uh, coffee shop. The building before it, the, the orange one on the right, that's the old post office. It's a very nice building that. And there's the artisan coffee shop. I mention that because people always do when I mention Cafe Nero. So I beat them to the punch now. Now this is uh, the, the main road that goes through Old Town. Uh, lots of restaurants along here. And there's bus stops, and if you get a taxi to Old Town, this is probably where I'll drop you off. There's a car park to our left there. And Old Town Market is on the right. And the best time to go and see that is in the mornings. There's a new uh, cafe there on the right, and an older one on the left. And we're heading back up and uh, it's a bit bumpy there. The Mutalos Mosque is on the left. You can't really see it. And I, in previous film, I went through into the car park there. I'm not doing it this time. But if you turn left before that blue building, there'll be another car park and you'll get to see some cats as well. One of Paphos Cat Lady's feeding stations up there. And this is the central uh, old town car park here and all these brightly coloured buildings have been uh, refurbished in the last few months a few years sorry not months and if you carry on up that road but uh, we're just turning off you'd end up uh, going into Cloaca and that would take you to Kisonaga and it'll rejoin the main uh, sea road going to Cobble Bay. I'll deal with that in other films though. I'm coming back through Old Town now. It's a one-way system I should point out. You can park in these laybys, but I think it's, I don't know whether it's changed. It used to be like half an hour parking or something. And occasionally they do, you do get bouts where there will be a lot of traffic wardens about. They go around on scooters. I mean, motor, uh, motorbike sort of scooters, not like those little ones you see people standing on. Now we're coming up to where Pumpkin House is. In this nice little square here. It's the second yellow building. Oh, it's that one on the right there. 
Uh, but if you go there looking for Evie, you won't find her there because she's at the uh, Harbour at the moment in the Art Zone place there. On our left here, you have the bus station, the main one, and then you have the Mercadeo Theatre, which we're just going past now. And now we're back on again to the main road that we drove down in the first film. And we're just coming up to the Papantonio roundabout. And we're going to pull in there to go to Pap Antonio's because I need to buy some stuff. And that will be the end of this film. And in the final film of this little series, we're going to be uh, going through the centre of Paphos, up what's called Butcher Boy Road. And we'll come back in a loop and we'll see all the ever central, well not all of them, but some of the main central roads that we haven't covered yet. And if you get those three uh films under your belt then you'll have a pretty good idea of to ha as to how to navigate in Paphos and you won't spend as much time as we did getting lost when we first came here but we're going to turn left here and we'll go into Paps as is known and I'll buy my stuff and I'll see you in the next film cheers <laughs>